Here's a closer look of the uh, Ram 3500. Uh, this is the limited trim. Massive chrome grille, front facing camera, quad LED headlights. There's your parking sensors up front. Real nice big chrome tow hooks. Here's your 3500. Here's your Alcoa rims. There's your Cummins badge. Ram Limited. You're going to have your trailer tow mirrors with your LED backup light underneath. There is a, a camera right there. This vehicle does have 360 degree camera. This one is a mega cab with it looks like power deployable steps. Very, very nice color choice on interior. Look at the attention to the detail on that stitching. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It looks like the Mega Cab does not come with the in-floor storage. That's a continuation of the previous generation. Tons of leg room back here. Again, beautiful stitching. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Really nice looking trim pieces. You got cup holders for days in here. Little storage compartment right here it looks like. USBs and then USB-Cs as well as heated rear seats and 115 volt 400 watt outlet. Coming back here, fold down armrest with two cup holders. And being a mega cab, you do have storage behind the seats. Uh, to access that, there's a little lever right here. You pull it, you can put the seats down, and the seats will fold flat. There's some speaker grills, it looks like, for the premium audio group. Let's take a look at this with all the seats down. Tons and tons of space in here. Very beautiful looking truck. Let's take a look up front. Cup holders, there's your Harman Kardon speaker grill, so this vehicle definitely does have the premium audio group. Again, Beautiful display. Uh, this is by far my favorite display out of all the truck brands. Very configurable. All your window controls, your mirror, automatic mirror folding controls, two seat memory, 12 inch touchscreen, screen, connect. Um, no rotary shift dial, it's right here. So I'll, you still have your four high, four low, and two wheel drive options right there. There's your integrated trailer tow control, as well as it looks like uh, your parking sensors and maybe some upfitters right here. Beautiful looking limited. Absolutely soft touch materials everywhere. This whole dash is, is leather. It's very soft to the touch and feels really, really nice. They did not uh, skimp out on anything with this truck. Uh, during the press conference, they said they use premium materials for every trim. I can definitely see that in this truck. Here you have the um, movable center console. The uh, Laramie Longhorn and the Limited will have the cup holders and this portion uh, covered. Got chain storage in here. You can push that button to move it back. And you have wireless charging right here, as well as a uh, 400 watt power outlet underneath right there. Moving this forward, you can take a look at the beautiful limited armrest right here. The first uh, lever is going to open up the shallow portion, which does have a USB and a dimple for cord management. Open up the big one, and you have access to massive storage down here, as well as the typical trigonomic ratios, degrees, all that sorts of stuff. 
thank you very much for your time. Sunroof. Vanity over here. LED dome map lights. Your home link system. Overall, I'm very, very impressed with this truck. Your diesel and duff fill ports. Uh, during the press conference, they did say that the blind spot and the backup sensors work in conjunction with the um, dually. Uh, so all your systems will work. It looks like you do have the uh, push down uh, step to help get in the bed of the truck. Your standard four and seven pin connectors as well as your three lights right there. Looks like it already comes lined and it is uh, gooseneck ready. LED third brake light. Very beautiful looking truck. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys.